All right, we did a video on our channel where we talked about the most uncommon ways to save money on a Carnival Cruise. And we mentioned in that video that there is a program called Fly to Fun. A lot of you all didn't know about the program, you had never heard of it, or you heard of it and you didn't know how it worked. Pretty much in a nutshell, Carnival Cruises have teamed up with the major airlines and they have developed this program, Fly to Fun. What it is, is once you book your Carnival Cruise, you're able to book your airfare right on line. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to do that. And the beauty of booking your airfare through the Fly to Fun program is this. Yes, everyone knows that you should fly in a day before your cruise, but most people don't have the luxury of doing so. So they come in the morning of, and that is so stressful. You can always have that thing of where you can miss your flight or your flight can be delayed. If you book independently on your own through the airlines directly or Expedia or whoever it is that you use, that's on you. But here's the thing when you book through Carnival, if for some reason you show up to the airport, now they will not cover you if you just oversleep and don't make it to the airport, that's on you. But if you make it to the airport and there is a major delay with the aircraft, there's bad weather with the craft, and they cannot get you to that ship before there's a reasonable amount of time that has passed where they decide, well, they're gonna wait for you or they're gonna leave you. It's on Carnival to get you to that next port of call if they need to. So the first thing is that ship knows that Lynette, whoever else is with Lynette, they have booked flight of fun. Their flight is delayed. They'll be here in an hour. We're gonna hold the ship up for an hour. Now, if there's like two, three hours has gone by, more than likely, the likelihood of them waiting for you is probably gonna be slim to none, but they also have in their contract that once you book through them, they're responsible to get you to the next port of call. For instance, if you don't have a passport and your next port of call is out of the country, then the only thing that they can do for you at that point is give you a future cruise credit. I will splash all of the rules and all of the restrictions on it right here on the screen so you can read up on that. But now I'm gonna take you to my screen and I'm gonna show you how to actually book a flight of fun. So what you do is you sign into your account, right? Go into your account and go into my bookings or your cruise planner. Either way will get you back to where you need to go. You'll see over here in this corner right here where it says categories, drop that down. It's going to be all the way down here and you will see fly to fun. You click on that. It will pre-populate with your booking numbers. If you have several, you get to choose. You have one, then you just click on it. Then it'll ask you to search for your flights. It'll give you this message up here. And right now we're in COVID-19, so it gives you a, a little blurb about it. Click off of it, keep on going. Up here at the top, it has the guest names. You can click off of some name, of a name, whatever. Maybe that person doesn't wanna fly in with you. Don't know. You can select whether or not you want departure and returns or departure only, return only. For the sake of this, we're gonna do departure and return. You can do like nonstop, da 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 da. We're not gonna go that specific right now. We're just gonna walk you through it. But for the, for the time being, they only offer economy class um, flights. So what you can do is, Usually it will ask, it will pre-populate with where you're gonna be leaving from. So this particular client is in, I'll just say Richmond, Virginia. So the day of their cruise is going to populate, which is gonna be December the 31st. We can also go come in on the 30th. We can arrive at any time. So it will pre-populate up here the day that the ship returns back into the port of call. Notice that you can come into Miami or you can leave out of Fort Lauderdale and the same over here. You can fly into Miami or Fort Lauderdale. So for the sake of this, we're gonna fly back out of Miami and notice they will not allow you to book a flight earlier than noon. So that's a good rule of thumb. If you're booking independently, don't book a flight before 12 o'clock 
because there the likelihood of you getting off the ship getting to transportation getting to, to and through the airport and getting on a flight before 12 is highly unlikely so we're going to go ahead and say okay let's try to get a flight at one o'clock we'll go ahead and search those flights fly to fun we'll go ahead and start doing this search process in the background and we wait so here we go now don't get alarmed of the prices of the flights right now this is a new year's eve cruise flights are going to be ridiculous but as you can see right here you have what we call flexible flights and you have restricted flights restricted flights are flights that you can book them right now but you don't have to pay right now they are more expensive flexible is you book it now you have 24 hours to pay for it and it solidifies um, your your um, booking so for the sake of this we're just gonna go ahead and say okay we'll do the non-stop flight from Richmond to Miami so let's go ahead and select our returning flight so there's a th um, 353 non-stop landing back in Richmond at 615 on American Airlines no additional cost per person let's go ahead and select that flight and that's our return home flight we can go ahead and request our seats right from here and it will tell you that the cost of this flight was three hundred and thirty two dollars and forty three cents per person times two equals six hundred and sixty four dollars and eighty six cents like I said you can do your seats right here it will show you what the aircraft looks like in green will be your available seats you can select passenger one passenger two go to your next flight do the same thing passenger one passenger two go ahead and save and exit for the sake of this because this, this is a real booking i will not save and exit because it will look for me to do a payment within 24 hours so i don't want to do that right now also let's note that for JetBlue, southwest air Tran, and frontier you will have to visit their website or give them a call to book your seats they do not have the capability on fly to fun at this moment but this is simply how you are able to do the fly to fun program with carnival.com and i hope that this helped you out a whole lot about it um i didn't want to go into grave detail but just wanted to show you that if you can book airline tickets on any of the major websites carrier sites on your apps you definitely can do it through fly to, fly to fun and have that extra security blanket because they also put traveler's insurance for that flight included in the price of the tickets. Usually the tickets are much cheaper when you go through this program. Don't be alarmed, like I said, this one right here is gonna be more expensive because it is a New Year's Eve flight. So I hope you all enjoy this presentation. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. I will also leave a link directly to the Fly to the Fun program. And another thing is, you can't play with this unless you have a booking you will not see this on your portal or on your um in your login unless you have a booking all right have a good one y'all bye